Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will be learning how to make a unicorn jump game in scratch. First of all, here is a riddle for you to solve. What is black when it's clean and white when it's dirty? If you know the answer, tell it down in the comments. I'll tell the answer in my next video. For now, let's start making the game. Now, as I said, we are going to make a unicorn jump game in scratch. We'll first upload a unicorn. Place it where you want and make it small like 70%. Now upload some obstacles. I'll be uploading rocks. Make it small like 50%. Upload a backdrop of your choice. I'll be uploading the woods backdrop. Now let's go to the coding part of the unicorn. First, when the flag is clicked, we want it to show to the screen. So in the look section, we'll take the show block. Now we'll create two variables, one named score and the other one named high score. And the high score variable should to be the cloud variable. Now at the beginning, we want to set the score to zero. So first go to the position you want. So I'll be going like here. And then take a forever block. And take the next costume block. As you can see in the costume section there are many costumes of the unicorn like 6. And we can put the next costume to make it a play a running animation. So to not make it very fast, we'll take a wait seconds block and make it wait 0 0.07 seconds. Now take an if block underneath it and then take an or block from the operators. Go to sensing and take a key space pressed and then duplicate it and take if up arrow key pressed. Then put inside it the chain score by 1. So if we jump successfully, our score will be changed by 1. We can make it now play a small sound. So you can upload this magic spell. Go to coding and put it. Now take the repeat block and make it repeat 20 times. And then duplicate it and put it under it and put it under the sound, start sound magic spell. Now go to motions and take the change y by minus 10 for the second one. And then duplicate it and make it change y by 10 for the first one. So that we can jump. Now take an if block again and put it here. Now take a bigger than sign from the operators and then go and take score from the variables and put it in the first cell and the high score in the second cell of the variables. Now put set high score to score. So this means if the score is bigger than the high score, the high score will be set it to score. Now we can do the rock coding. For the rock coding, we'll again take the when flag click block and make it show in the beginning. Now take in forever block and then we can make it go to a position like here. And take the go to block and make it glide the position you want. Like I'll be making glide till here. So glide to this, not for one second, for three seconds to not make it very fast. And then take the if block 
and put it underneath it and from the sensing you can select the touching unicorn and then we can make it broadcast a message you can rename the message as game over now we'll create a game over screen so write in white in the font curly game over and then make it big and put it in the center and change x of the sprite by 0 and y by 0 and rename the sprite as game over now let's do the coding of the sprite first take an if flag click block at the beginning we wanted to go to x0 and y0 and hide so it will be hidden in the beginning now when the unicorn is touching rocks we made a broadcast game over so we will be selecting that when I receive game over we wanted to show through the screen and then stop the game by playing a small sound so go to the sound section and take a small sound like you can select alien creek 2 select it and go to the code and put it play sound alien creek 2 until then and then go to events and take the stop all block so it stops the whole project until the green flag is pressed now when the game over screen appears we want the unicorn and the rock to be hidden so for that we can do go to the unicorn and take when i receive game over we want it to hide so go to the look section and take the hide block and then just drag it to the rock so it, the same happens with the rock for now i think one rock is not enough for an obstacle so we can duplicate the rock for a second rock now we'll edit this second rock at the beginning we want the second rock to be hidden and then we will make it wait at least for five seconds and then we can make it show itself And then put the coding underneath it and everything else is good now we can test our game the unicorn runs it can jump points it will score and if it touches the rocks like this the game will get over I hope you liked my video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.